Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome along to House of Games. Very special House of Champions week this week. We've got four former champions there battling it out to win a very special golden House of Games champions trophy. Our four players are Scarlett Moffat, <laughs> Rick Edwards, Naga Manchetti, and David O'Doherty. Welcome one, welcome all. Rick Edwards, two wins out of three. Monday and Wednesday, Not very, bad. very impressive. You're beginning to think about the uh, the golden trophy, or too early in the week? I think too early. You think too early? I mean, of course be... it keeps catching the eye. Of oh, course it does. Of course, <laughs> just linting. <laughs> but Rick, you are in pole position at the moment. Naga, uh, you've yet to win this week, but let's yes. take a look at the weekly leaderboards because you've had three second places, so you are very nicely placed for the trophy. Certainly, if you win today, Scarlet with four, David seven, Naga nine, Rick ten. So really, nothing to uh, to tell between the two of you, David. You won on Tuesday. Scented candle. We still haven't quite worked out how, but you did. <laughs> um, should we take a look at what the prizes are today? Mm -hmm. We have got House of Games tie, House of Games toolbox, there's a House of Games hip flask, House of Games action doll, and House of Games binoculars. If you were forced to go for a prize, what would you go for? Binoculars. Scarlet, bottom of the leaderboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you are a former champion. You got yourself a trophy. See, that's what I mean. Even if I come bottom, I'm not really bottom am I? because I'm still a champion. Exactly. exactly so that. that's how I'm looking at it. It's a great attitude. <laughs> Let's do it, shall we? Someone's going to yeah. win that golden trophy tomorrow. Should we play round one? Yeah. Yes. It is. <laughs> House of Gamers. Now, sometimes we do a round called Mouse of Games, where we change the title of a film or a book by one letter. On this one, we've taken a series of films from the 90s, OK, and we've added one letter to their title, OK? Mm. What we're going to do now, we'll start with you, Scarlett. We're going to read you a synopsis of this new film. Two mob hitmen are sent to retrieve a briefcase full of rough material that keeps rubbing together. Is that Pulp Fiction? OK, and we've added one letter to that to suddenly make this synopsis make sense. So Pulp Fiction, Pulp yeah. Pulp Fiction, there we go. We got there, Thanks. didn't we? Oh. Rick, yes. Rick, it is yours now. Yes. Following a power cut at a theme park, cloned dinosaurs run amok in large windproof coats. Jurassic Parker. Yay, Jurassic Parker, well done. Naga, here's yours. In South Boston, a ghost with a previously undiscovered genius takes advanced mathematics classes and resolves past trauma through therapy. No, it's on the, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna get it. Nope, so we time you out, that means you can buzz in anyone else as soon as Nagar is timed out. <laughs> buzz away. That's Rick Edwards. Rick, what's the name of the original film and then what have we changed it to? The film is Goodwill Hunting. No. Oh. And so you've changed it to Goodwill Haunting. Goodwill Haunting is the answer. Well played, Rick Edwards. <laughs> David, here's yours. Left on his own at Christmas, the bald patriarch of the Simpson family fends off a pair of burglars with a series of ingenious booby traps. I'm going to say Homer alone. Homer alone? Is the right answer. Home alone with an R added to it. Well done. Uh, we oh, go God. back down the line. This time, we have mm. taken stage musicals and Ooh. added one letter, OK? What is this stage musical, Scarlet? En route to perform at a drag show in a remote rural town, three Australians get through a lot of puddings. Priscilla, Queen of the Desserts? There we go, Priscilla, <laughs> Queen of the Desserts. Oh, thank you, sorry. <laughs> Rick, here's your stage musical. We've added a letter. A Frenchman endures prison and police persecution, but cheers up in the end. I mean, something... I'm trying to make, um... Les Miserables. I'm trying to make a Frenchman's name out of the les at the start. Um, I don't really know why. And, all, and I keep thinking oh, of Gilles Jaune. Oh, Scarlet has got it. Oh, have you? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't I'm mind that, do you? I'm the boss. Yeah. We will t wait for Rick to be timed out. <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> Les Miserables. 
Les Miserables is the right answer. Oh! Well done. Mm -hmm. Well done. But you give it away, really. Naga, here's one for you. What stage musical is this? We've added one word. A group of New York puppets trying to make their way in the world are encouraged by the facts they learn on a Sandy Toxvig hosted panel show. Time me out. Mm -hmm. I'll time you out. <laughs> Rick, that oh! is you. That seems unfair. It does seem unfair. It does seem unfair, but. The original musical was. Avenue Q. Avenue Q, and so the answer is... Avenue QI. Avenue QI is right. Oh. Very well done. Oh. Avenue QI. David, this is a stage musical. We've added one letter. Inhabitants of New York's vibrant East Village are harassed for payment by their landlord, a regional manager for the Wernham Hogg Paper Company. So it's David Brent, and the musical is called Rent. So it's Brent. Rent is the answer. Well played, David. Nice end to the round. <laughs> well done at home. If you got all of those, that's the end of our first round. Let's take a look at the scores. Naga yet to get off the mark. Uh, two points for David. We have joint leaders, though, Scarlett and Rick, with three points each. <laughs> Shall we play round two? Round two today is... Distinctly average is a pairs game. Now, Naga, you were only just saying that uh, you've never been able to choose your partner in this round. I haven't. Uh, but you're in last place today, so you can. Now, if now. you haven't watched the rest of the week, <laughs> this is what's <laughs> happened. Naga and Scarlett, I'm going to say a genuinely very, very strong partnership, <laughs> sort of really reading each other's minds in a couple of different rounds, <laughs> scoring a lot of points. David and Rick, who know each other very well, very old friends, have been... I mean, is there, is it, what's a stronger word than hapless? <laughs> yeah. Distinctly it's... below average. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Naga, with that in mind, I wonder who you're going to choose as your partner. Scarlet. Hey, <laughs> there we go. So, Naga and Rick, if you change places, please. Right. Now, Distinctly Average is played on your tablets, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you... You probably all played this before, I suspect, in yeah. your mm. championship-winning yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll ask you some questions. You write down an answer. There has to be a number. Uh, and I'll take the average of your two numbers, OK, to be your team's score. Let's take a look, shall we, at our first question. Write me down an answer for this, please. How many different songs have been performed as entries at the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Finals, please? That's from the very first Eurovision Song Contest wow. up to the 2019 finals. Whichever team is nearest, I'm going to give 12 points. 12 points on this. There's not really. Just no one's listening to me. Scarlet, what's your answer and what's your thinking? 18,000. <laughs> I mean, it's... OK. <laughs> feels... Because... <laughs> Talk us through. Eurovision's been going on for a long time. OK. Roughly... Roughly 40 years. 40 years. And then if... 60... Songs. ..times 40. Yeah. yeah. So I've worked my maths wrong, haven't I? I'm not even sure there's 60 in the final. Mm. Because they do, because they have the semis now, yeah, there's so there's semis, only have, yeah. the top 20 or whatever. Well, I'm hoping yours is a very low number. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the average down. <laughs> maybe, maybe a minus number. Yeah, uh, yours too. Naga, it's been, a, it's been a very impressive team so far. If, I'm, I'm assuming you've come down. And originally, I was thinking it's been going at least till, since the 70s. And then I thought about 20 in the finals. But then I thought, actually, more have been added as the years... Because Australia's in the Eurovision mm -hmm. now. Um, so I've, I knocked it down a little bit, and I went for 8,000. 8,000. We could still win this. Saying. So your average is 13,000. Yeah, sounds about right. You're saying... Rick, are you somewhere in the, in the high thousands? I sort of went uh, roughly 50 years. Maybe there's 30 songs, 1,500. Uh, and then I just knocked a few off. Yeah. And I ended up with... Uh, 14, 20, and also... Oh, see, I meant... Oh. Maybe I, so love... I meant 1,800 in my head. Yeah. I think you probably I've, did. I've, I've yeah. done a zero to many. I love David and the RE for DOD. Oh, that's oh. lovely. Oh. Huh? So 1,420 DOD, up or down from that? Um, just down, but only a bit. I did my, oh. my workings out here that there's about 28 songs in the final for the last 20 years. Yeah. And then... Uh, there was a period before that when there was slightly less, maybe a 30-year period with 15. 
which gave me one, two, six, zero. One, two, six, zero. Your average is okay. slightly harder to work out, but it is. 1,340 <laughs> songs in this grand final. We got final. our zero. Yeah. We got our, We had the extra zero. <laughs> I, I was going to say, if you take away the we zero... We the extra yeah. zeros. There would, genu problem. there would genuinely be some tension now. Yeah. This, would, this would be maths, a moment of jeopardy. My maths mm. is usually really good. Um, let's take a look, shall we? How many songs have there been? I wonder who's won the point. <laughs> the answer is... Ooh. Whoa! That's super close. Yeah. The dream team. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do another one, shall we? Answer me this, please. According to the latest figures, how much did Brits spend in total on Valentine's Day gifts in 2017? That's according to a leading market research company. Rick Edwards, tell us your workings out and then give us your answer. I think roughly 70 million of us Brits trying to work out what fraction of those get involved with Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. No real logic, but I ended up with maybe 20 million. And I reckoned everyone's spending roughly £25 each. And so I arrived at yeah. £500 million. Pounds. David, up or down from that? I think that's where I can help. I mean, I oh, great. <laughs> I made the same calcs as you, roughly, 20 oh, yeah. to 25 million people. But I thought the spend, you know, because you're a classy guy, so Thank you're... Thank you. Whereas yep. a lot of people would just get a meal deal or, you know, something like that, <laughs> maybe with a lower value mm. and still counts. Yeah. So I put that figure around 12 to 15 quid. Oh, interesting. Which gives me a total of 260 mil. Yeah. 260 so I'm happy enough with, million. with okay. the space between. Yeah, this. that's okay, isn't it? I'm oh, happy to say I forgive you, Rick. I never yeah. I forgive you, Rick. Let's take a look, shall we, at what your average is. You are saying that Brits spend £380 million on Valentine's Day in 2017. Mm. Scarlet, so what are you thinking? Right, so. I, did, I thought there was 57 million people in, in Britain. And then I times it by everyone spending £5. And then I halved that, because then I thought half of those people won't even spend £5 because there's lots of single people. OK. So then I co come to 142 million five hundred. <laughs> that number. Just to make our average easier, 142 million 500 pounds. Yes, that's <laughs> it. your one. Nago, you going up or down from that? Oh, what have we gone for? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 20 million. 20 million. Let's find out, shall we? So your average Scarlet and Naga is 81 million. So we've got 380 million plus 81 million. What do you think at home? Are you closer to one or other? Those are you much higher, much lower. How much did we spend as Brits in 2017 and which team has got the point? 650 Ooh. million Ooh. pounds. Outrageous. Mm. That's outrageous. 600 Only 600 million, million out, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, 620 million pounds, that is. Final question now in this round. According to the Office for National Statistics, how many high streets were there in Great Britain in 2017? Um, uh, sir, can I... Ask a question? Yes. So, for something to be defined as a high street... As a high street, it means it has to have 15 or more retail units uh, all within 150 metres of each other. So, any, any street that has 15 that. 15 or more. OK, great. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going high. And... Yeah. Go high or go home, right? Uh, what are you going for, Nega? Well, I feel like an utter fool, but... Oh, my days. Oh, really? To just help my feelings, <laughs> hey? <laughs> that is a lot of small towns. Yes, you know what? there I, I... are a lot of small there towns. There are a lot of small towns. Oh. Scarlett, up or down from 100,000? Um, I've went 5,216. 5,216. So your average is 52,608 yeah. is the average for Scarlett and Naga. Rick, what have you gone? Originally, I think I had something like... What do I have? Like 60,000. And then I've just panicked <laughs> and gone and gone right down. OK. And, and gone 20,000. 20,000. Yeah. David, up or down from 20,000? I'm going to go down oh, uh, by uh, a, a lot. OK. Uh, right. Tw maybe 20 times. <laughs> okay. uh, so I'm going to go 635 <laughs> because, yeah. okay. you know, you've got... You, like, the thing is, 
London only has one high street. Excuse me? That's not true. No, I can't. No, really. <laughs> OK, London's well, a lot. I can't take it back now. So <laughs> let's just aggregate our two scores. Yeah. And actually, what we have, I think that might be quite close. Let's take a look. So your average, David, and Rick is 10,300. So we've got 52,000, we've got 10,000. Uh, half a high street is key here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many high streets are there and which team has won the point? 6,900. Scarlett, you were super close. Yeah, well and done, And the point, though, goes to yeah. Rick and David. Your average is not bad put together. <laughs> That's the end of that round. Tab this away, please. The next round, I was do not panic. Naga and Rick, if you swap places again, please. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Really yeah. nice. See, heal the rift. Thank you, Naga. Good round there Thank for you. Rick and David. Let's take a look at the scores after round two of Thursday's House of Games. Naga, she's very high up on the weekly leaderboard, but uh, yet to get off the mark today. Scarlett, you're on three. David, five. Rick Edwards, our leader with six oh, points. Oh, well done, Rick. Mm. So two wins already. Is he on his way to his third? Let's find out. Let's play another round. It is. The backwards round. Buzzers on fingers. Question first. City York New visits who man Australian and as Hogan Paul stars film 1986, which? Rick. Dundee Crocodile. Correct <laughs> answer, well done. Wow. Oh, yeah. Dundee Crocodile, Crocodile, Dundee. Question next. Job which for abbreviation common A is DJ Radio In? Scarlet. Jockey disc. Is the right answer. Well played. Disc jockey becomes jockey disc. Song this of title the is what? Scarlet. Virgin are like. Virgin are like. Let's have a listen the right way round. It is. Oh. That's magnificent. Yeah. That's Nowhere near that. Yeah, very good. Question next. 1885 in France from Gift. A was Monument, US iconic, which? Scarlet. Tower Eiffel. Incorrect. David. Liberty of Statue. Is the right answer. Statue of Liberty, Liberty of Statue. Song this of title the is what? Uh, Naga, I wish you luck. Go. I should <laughs> or <laughs> stay. I should. Hey, Naga! <laughs> that was so impressive. <laughs> Let's have it right way round. I'll sing no way I'll just mess that up. Should I stay or should I go? How stressful was that? I've just got a point. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was, oh, that yeah. was me. But I'll tell you what, what, what a way to get one. Yeah, I was feeling sick for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question next. Who of Case Strange the... Called is evil and good about novella 1886 Stevenson's Louis Robert. Oh. Rick. Hyde, Mr. and Jekyll, Doctor. Is the right answer. Yes. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Question final. Program panel topical, which on Captain's team became Hislop Ian and Merton Paul, 1990 in. Scarlet. Star shooting. Sorry, that is incorrect. Yes, Rick. You. <laughs> For news I have. <gasps> incorrect, I'm afraid. Naga. You. Four. Oh, yeah. News. Got. I have. 
correct answer. And that goes lovely into the round. That is the end of that round. You'll be delighted to hear, I'm sure. Stressful. Oh, my brain oh, is so oh, yeah. Yeah. Good, though. Ah, it's good, that's isn't good it? But yeah. Really, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, that's a tricky one. Well done, I hope if you're good at that one. Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Naga on the board now with two. Scarlet, five. David, six. Rick, extending a lead, eight points. Well played, Rick. Done. Two rounds to go. And round four today is going to be... The not quite so nice round. Now, the nice round is a round we play on the regular House of Games, but this is a champion's House of Games, so we've changed it up a little bit to the not quite so nice round. And on this round, all you've got to do is guess a book, OK? And this is the way you do it. Scarlett, you'll go first. Mm -hmm. You have to guess the name of a book, uh, and you'll do that by your three opponents taking a look at the name of the book there. They're going to write down a one-word clue to okay. what that book is, OK? And you have to guess what the book is. If you guess the uh, correct answer, you'll score one point. Now, normally, in the nice round, you also give a point to the person who's given you the best clue. Uh -huh. But because it's a champion special and it's the not-quite-so-nice round, you're going to take a point off the person who gives you the worst clue. <sighs> okay. Scarlet, you're going to have three words to help you, and the first word, Rick, is... Rodents. Rodents. Naga, what is the second oh, word? Have you put I'm rodents? so sorry, this is not going to help you. Rodents. Rodents. Ooh. Rodents, rodents. And David? Three rodents. Squeak fellow. A big with rats in. Got it. Do you want to take a wild guess? I'll say wind in the willows. Rick, was it wind in the willows? It was not wind in the willows. Ah, oh. I literally, I would not have a clue. Anyone at home got it? What was the answer? Of mice and men. Oh, of it's mice really and men. Hard. So, really hard. Really hard. I did that for work. GCSE as well. Did you? It would seem harsh to knock a point off anyone. I feel like though. I don't want to knock Give the points. No, Everyone mm, tries. Given they pretty much wrote the same clue. Rick, <laughs> you've got to guess a book now. Here you go, Scott. If you take one and pass them on. So one word to lead you to uh, the title of a book. Naga, what's the first word? Vampires. 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 David, what's the second word? Eight-ish. And Scarlet. Vampires. Vampires, again. Vampires. So vampires, vampires, eight-ish. Uh, oh, hang on. Twilight. Is it Twilight? Yeah. Twilight. It is Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's when it's Twilight. The Twilight, yeah. yeah. Uh, At about eight-ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vampire. Very I don't clever. think you can take a point off. I'm not, uh, as if I'm not taking any points off. That was Love very, it. very good. Naga, it's your turn now. You've got to guess a book. Uh, your three opponents are going to write down Thank you. a word. We're going to go through this round without taking a point off, I know that. The sort of thing oh, Rick's in. that could be deeply, deeply embarrassing. Mm. David, what is the first word? Long. Long, OK. Scarlet, <laughs> what are you saying? Classic. Classic. Rick. Crimean. <laughs> oh, it's the Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. So long classic it? Crimean. Um, crime and punishment. Crime and punishment, Rick. Ooh. What's the answer? Oh. War and peace. War, War and, and peace. peace. War and oh, peace. Oh, do you know what? That's the, I, long that, Crimean that was classic. All brilliant. It's I was set the in the Napoleonic War. Napoleonic. That's what yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Oh God. Yeah. Good clues, forever. We're not taking point no. off anyone there. David Adohadi, you have got to guess a book now. Yeah. Too long, too classic. Too, too long, too classic. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, what book is this going to be? Hopefully, it's a squeak fellow from Have someone. Have these review read it? No. Uh, no. No. Scarlet, what's the first word? Sky map. What? Sky map. Mm. Mm. Rick. Uh, <laughs> Nimbus. And Naga has. Global. Is it Atlas Shook? By Anne Rand. Is it Atlas, Atlas Shrugged? Is that At, what Atlas Shrugged. Is it Atlas Shrugged? It's not. From it Rick's not. Oh. Is it Cloud Atlas? It is Cloud no. Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Atlas by David Mitchell. I'll try it with answer. the Sky Map. Sky, sky Map is good really <laughs> solid. Um, that is the end of that round. It went particularly well. Hard um, round. That was hard really round. One round to go. Who is going to win Thursday's House of Games, House of Champions? The leaderboard looks like this. 
Naga with two, Scarlet five, David, you have six, Rick, three point lead. And the final round, as always, is. After Smash. Rick, you've got a three point lead. A three point lead can be thrown away because it's a point for a correct answer, a point off for an incorrect answer yeah, as well. Yeah. But this could be your third victory of the week. Here is your first category. Claire's and Claire's. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. Smash them together, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Who's going to win on Thursday? Here's your first question. Which fictional character is also known as the Demon Barber of Fleet Street? Yes, Scarlett. Claire Sweeney Todd. Claire Sweeney Todd. Oh, right. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Claire Sweeney. Next, Claire or Claire. In which 1986 film does a robot called Number Five get struck by lightning and become sentient? Yes, Rick. Claire Short Circuit. Oh, yes, Claire Short, very short good. Circuit. Next category. Kitchenware. Pictures will be kitchenware. Yes. Smash them into clues below. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we've got the subject. Here's your first one. In which 2003 romantic comedy does Hugh Grant play the Prime Minister of the UK? Oh. Yes, Rick. Oven glove, actually. Is it oven glove, actually? Oh, oh it is. <laughs> Next piece of kitchenware. Hoy is the second largest of which group of Scottish islands? Yes, Naga. Forkneys. Forkneys is the right <laughs> answer. Fork and Orkney Islands. Next piece of kitchenware. What is the top division in Spanish football? Yes, Rick. Spatula Liga. Spatula Liga. Oh, yes, yes. Spatula and La Liga. Well done. Next yes. category is. We have no more. I think we know what's I happened here. Know. Rick, you had a three-point lead going into it. You got pretty much every single question right in that round. Mm. Who has won Thursday's House of Games? It is, of course, Mr Rick Edwards. 12 well points. Done. Well played, Rick. Good score. Six-point wow. lead. Rick, you've won again. It's three wins. That was uh, good. Not going to lie. What would you like to take home with you? Oh. Choose one of these prizes. Um, There's the toolbox, the doll, the tie, okay. the binoculars, or the hip flask. I think I'll take the doll, please, Richard. <laughs> the doll. Yes, you please. take yeah. home the, uh, the Hesketh doll. Well yes. done, Rick. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard. Now, tomorrow is Double Points Friday, but leading into Double Points Friday, let's take a look at where we stand. Rick, you have 14. Mm. David and Naga, 10 mm. points each. You can both catch up tomorrow. Scarlett, seven points down there. At the bottom, you, it's statistically unlikely, but... Uh, who knows in this game, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rick, well done. Three wins this week. Very, Thank very you. impressive. Uh, but tomorrow, it's the biggest one of all. It's the best day to win. Eight points for a win tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you all here, same time, same place tomorrow. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games, House of Champions. Good grief. That is special. Whoa. That is something else, isn't it?